Hello Virtuous Family, welcome to Virtual Gs and Skills. My name is Nancy. In today's video, what we have for you is how to make vegetable soup with water leaves so tasty. A Dikaiko special, a calabar special style. I'm going to teach you how to make that step by step. <laughs> Edikaiko is a vegetable soup that originated among the Efik Ebibio people of Apwa Ibom State and Cross River State in southeastern Nigeria. It is considered to be a delicacy among some Nigerians and is sometimes served during occasions of importance. Edikaiko is a nutritious soup and very delicious. Without too much of speaking grammar in our water, let's dive into the main video. for the tasty vegetable soup are set on the table I got here my already cut pumpkin leaf which is ogo in my language in here is my already cut water leaf you can use spinach if you so wish this is my blended crayfish and seasoning cube this is my chopped scored bonnet pepper I like my pepper being chopped when it comes to vegetable soup or edikaiko you can feel free to blend yours smoothly okay I got here my salt this is my fresh palm oil this is Prewenko in its shell. It is called Isam in my language. It is one ingredient that makes this vegetable or edikaiko special. The Ibibio doesn't play with Prewenko in the shell. River stay where I come from, call it Fion Fion True Way. <laughs> you can use the remove one, but of a truth, you must add Prewenko to Ibibio vegetable soup or any seafood to get their attention. This is my stock of which my proteins are inside. I got Shaki, I got cow beef, I got shredded stockfish, this is cow leg, I got kanda, and I got smoked fish. Now let's prepare the prewinko, please. It is very easy, do not be afraid. I've washed the prewinko somehow already. I'll be cutting it with the plier I'm holding. You can cut with cutlass or hammer, depending on what is easy for you. Now I will fix the prewenko in the middle of the plier and now break off the under part or the tail. Then break off the mouth also so that it will be very easy to suck out after cooking. Let's try it one more time. This is how I will keep doing it one after the other until i'm done when i'm done guys i will get back to you virtuous family this is the finished look of the cut prewinkle the next step now is to wash it okay please on this stage washing of the prewinkle is very important i do give it a serious attention i mean a serious attention I wash it very carefully to make sure that all the little little particles during cutting will find their level off the parts. That sounds funny, right? Yes, it sounds funny, but it is real. I'm done washing. Let me show you what the particles I'm talking about looks like. You remove the water carefully. Make sure that the particles will not enter your sink because it can never decay in this life. Trash it, okay? This part is very important so that it will not block your sink or your pipe. Now I add the prewinko inside my bowl and I will add some salt to it. The essence of adding the salt is to get rid of some sand and dirt that might be inside the prewinko. Remember we are using it like this directly to the soup so we have to be very careful the way we wash it and you will keep shaking and washing it like this with salt until the slime from the prewinkle is totally out and the water you are using to wash is 100 percent clean and clear now the prewinkle is very clean and clear as you can see the next thing i will do now is to soak it with a warm water and salt till i am ready to use it that part is very important Next, let's start cooking. Please, for now, I will be cooking with a low heat. And I will add two cooking spoons of palm oil in my pot. And I will heat the palm oil a bit, not much, because I'm not frying anything here. I'm just trying to get a base for the soup for a perfect taste. Please note that Edikaiko 
does not require too much palm oil unlike other Nigeria vegetable soups okay now I'll add my crayfish and I will stir the oil and the crayfish very well to make sure they are well mixed after which I will add my chopped scalded bonnet pepper remember I told you I like chopping my fresh pepper when it comes to edikaiko or any vegetable soup and I will stir very well to make sure they are well mixed I think I'm done with this mixture the next thing I will do now is to introduce the proteins these are my proteins I'll be adding them one after the other without the stock I want to like toast them first with the mixture before adding the stock okay I'm not gonna add all the meat hmm? after adding the protein I will stir very well to combine in a way trying to toast the proteins with the soup base can you see how lovely that looks like I like the pepper so that is how I like my edikaiko now I will introduce my prewinkle you know this prewinkle is in the shell so for that reason I'm adding it first if it is the one they remove from the shell please it is the last thing you have to add okay so we have to add it early so that it will cook very well after stirring it with other ingredients I will add my seasoning cube and I will also stir very well if you watch closely you will see that the pot is very dry that is how it's supposed to look like now I will test and it was excellent I will stir again once more and then add the water leaf bit by bit and I will stir to combine you can also use spinach to replace the water leaf if you so wish it is the water leaf that will produce the liquid that we will use for the soup it is going to serve as a thickener or binder to the soup now I will cover the soup and allow it to cool for five minutes to release the liquid we will use for the soup okay and in a dikaiko, we add the water leaf first before ugu, which is pumpkin leaf. We don't add them the same time. And the amount of water leaf is always higher than ugu, okay? Wow, virtuous family, after five minutes, this is what we got. The water leaf has released all its liquid. Do you see the reason why I say you should use more water leaf than ugu? Because when the water leaf releases all its liquid, it will be small. Can you see all the liquid you are seeing right inside the pot are being released by water leaf i have not added any extra water i am stirring it as you can see very well after stirring it well i will then add my pumpkin leaf which is ogo and stir to combine after that i will cover the pot and allow the ogo to cook for just two minutes because i don't want it to overcook to lose its nutrients Vegetables family, after two minutes, this is what we got. This vegetable soup or edikaiko soup does not require too much water. Now we will do what we call check and balance the test and we find out that we require some little salt and we add some salt to test and after which we will also stir and combine very well. After that, we will retest it again and the test was excellent. On this junction guys our vegetable soup with water leaves so tasty yummy and delicious is ready let's go to the table and do with some good wow virtuous family this is the finished look of the edikaiko or vegetable soup it looks so lovely and inviting it does not only look so lovely it also tasted so yummy and delicious it is not watery at all but moist and that is the best way it's supposed to look you can eat this soup with any swallow of your choice but i'm going to enjoy mine with fufu loi loi <laughs> that's what i'm going to use hope you enjoy watching this video just as i enjoy sharing the soup with you if you do enjoy watching this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel with a notification bell to be notified anytime we upload a new video share this video to families and friends and drop your comment try this soup and give us your feedback in all our social media handle as usual thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video bye bye